On November 13, 2025, Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket finally soared from Cape Canaveral, breaking years of delays and doubt. The journey to this moment had been long and arduous, filled with technical challenges and setbacks that tested the resolve of everyone involved. This wasn't just another test, it was a statement, a declaration that Blue Origin was ready to take its place among the stars. The massive rocket powered by seven BE-4 engines thundered skyward, carrying the weight of Blue Origin's credibility. Each engine roared with the promise of a new era in space exploration. After a shaky first attempt earlier in the year, this second launch had everything on the line. A flawless flight, successful payload deployment, and, most crucially, a booster landing. The tension was palpable as the booster descended, its landing legs deploying with precision. 33 minutes after liftoff, NASA's Escapade spacecraft was delivered to orbit, confirming New Glenn's core promise. This was a critical milestone proving the rocket's capability to deliver payloads accurately and efficiently. Then, the real show, the first stage booster, never tell me the odds, executed a perfect landing on the drone ship Jacqueline. This was a moment of triumph, showcasing the reusability that is key to the future of space travel. Cheers erupted in mission control, not just relief, but vindication. The team's hard work and perseverance had paid off in spectacular fashion. Blue Origin had finally proven it could compete in the new era of reusable rockets. The comparison with other industry giants was inevitable, and New Glenn stood tall. This mission reset the narrative. Blue Origin was no longer just a billionaire's dream, but a real contender in the commercial space race. The company had shown it could deliver on its promises. The tortoise had finally leapt, and the industry could no longer ignore it. Blue Origin had arrived, and the future of space exploration looked brighter than ever. To grasp New Glenn's significance, you have to look back at Blue Origin's slow, often frustrating journey. Founded by Jeff Bezos in 2000, the company's step-by-step -step ferociously motto often felt like just step-by-step. -step. While SpaceX raced ahead with rapid launches and landings, Blue Origin's new Glenn remained stuck in development, missing deadlines and losing out on key contracts. Years passed with little to show but hardware in factories and slick animations. The company's methodical approach, once seen as prudent, became a liability as SpaceX dominated the market. The failed booster recovery on New Glenn's first flight only deepened doubts. Blue Origin's vast infrastructure looked like a monument to unfulfilled potential. Until. Now. The successful flight finally turned years of waiting into a tangible achievement. Blue Origin's transformation began with a bold shift in leadership, marking the start of a new era for the company. For years, Blue Origin was known for its ambitious goals but slow progress, often overshadowed by competitors moving at a faster pace. That all changed when a new leader stepped in, determined to shake things up and accelerate the company's journey to space. In late 2023, Dave Limp, the former Amazon Devices chief, took over as CEO. He brought with him a reputation for driving innovation and delivering results, along with a sense of urgency that Blue Origin desperately needed. Limp's arrival signaled a clear message, it was time to move from ideas to action and from potential to performance. Limp wasted no time. He streamlined management layers, cut through bureaucracy, and made BE4 engine production the company's top engineering priority. Instead of endless meetings and reviews, teams were now measured by real milestones and tangible progress. The culture began to shift, with employees feeling both the pressure and excitement of a faster pace. He also pushed hard for the rapid completion of the Jacqueline landing platform, recognizing that booster recovery would be crucial for future missions. By making this a top priority, Limp ensured that Blue Origin could compete with industry leaders in reusable rocket technology. The failed first landing attempt was a sobering wake-up call for the entire team. But instead of retreating, Limp doubled down on execution, demanding rigorous analysis and immediate improvements. His relentless focus paid off when the second attempt succeeded, proving that the new approach was working. The November 2025 launch was a turning point. It validated Limp's strategy and showed the world that Blue Origin could move fast, adapt quickly, and deliver on its promises. The company's confidence soared as it celebrated this hard-won success. While Limp didn't change Blue Origin's long-term vision of enabling millions to live and work in space, he radically changed how the company would get there. His leadership style inspired teams to think bigger, act faster, 
and believe in their ability to achieve the extraordinary. Under his guidance, Blue Origin transformed into a true production powerhouse. The company finally began to match its lofty ambitions with real, measurable action, ramping up manufacturing and streamlining operations across the board. The so-called limp effect turned Blue Origin from a slow-moving think tank into a fierce launch competitor, ready to challenge the industry's best and shape the future of space exploration. Beyond the launch spectacle, New Glenn's flight had a scientific mission, delivering NASA's Escapade to space, marking a new chapter in Mars exploration. Escapade, two small spacecraft will orbit Mars to study how its atmosphere was stripped away, unlocking secrets of planetary evolution and the planet's ancient climate. As part of NASA's cost-effective Simplex program, Escapade shows how high-value science can be done on a budget, inspiring future missions. The mission's journey is complex, first to a gravitational point, then a slingshot to Mars, ultimately arriving in 2027 after a long interplanetary voyage. Its dual spacecraft design will give scientists a 3D view of Martian atmospheric loss, providing new insights into Mars's evolution. The launch is a win for both NASA and Blue Origin, proving heavy-lift rockets can serve affordable science and foster new partnerships. Escapade's data will link Blue Origin's commercial ambition to humanity's quest for knowledge, advancing our understanding of the Red Planet. The most dramatic moment was the booster's landing on the Jacqueline. Never tell me the odds touched down flawlessly, a symbol of Blue Origin's hard-won progress. Reusability is the key to lowering launch costs, recovering and reusing the most expensive part of the rocket. SpaceX proved this model. Now, Blue Origin has done it with a much larger vehicle. Years of practice with New Shepard paid off, but landing an orbital-class booster is a far greater feat. Achieving this on only the second try is remarkable, validating Blue Origin's methodical approach, the real test now refurbishing and reflying the booster quickly and cheaply. Blue Origin plans to reuse this booster next year, aiming to make rapid, low-cost reuse routine. With this landing, Blue Origin has taken its biggest step yet towards sustainable spaceflight. Blue Origin's triumph can't be separated from the shadow of SpaceX. SpaceX landed its first booster in 2015 and has since launched and landed hundreds, setting the industry standard. For Blue Origin, this is just the beginning. For SpaceX, it's routine. New Glenn's size and power give it unique advantages. Its huge payload fairing is unmatched, targeting heavy lift missions. This puts it in competition with SpaceX's Starship, not Falcon 9. Blue Origin isn't trying to be SpaceX, it's carving its own path as a reliable alternative. The challenge now is to move from a single success to regular, reliable launches. Blue Origin must learn in years what SpaceX learned in a decade. The race is on, but Blue Origin is finally in the running. With one spectacular success, Blue Origin now faces its toughest and most critical challenge yet, transforming a single historic leap into a sustained marathon of regular, reliable launches. The excitement of that first achievement is only the beginning. The real test lies in building a future where launches become routine, not rare. The priority is clear. Ramp up launch cadence and prove reliability to customers like NASA and the Department of Defense. These organizations demand not just innovation, but consistency and trustworthiness, making every successful launch a crucial step toward long-term partnerships and industry credibility. Mastering rapid, low-cost booster reuse is the next major hurdle. Every day a booster sits idle is lost revenue and lost opportunity. Blue Origin must streamline refurbishment processes, minimize turnaround times, and ensure each booster can fly again and again with confidence. Blue Origin must also compete on price, matching SpaceX's legendary efficiency and cost-effectiveness. The commercial space race is fierce, and only those who can deliver both performance and value will survive and thrive. The cultural shift under Dave Limp must become permanent for Blue Origin to truly thrive. It's not just about technology, it's about fostering a spirit of innovation, urgency, and teamwork that can carry the company through every challenge ahead. Despite the immense challenges... New Glenn's success has energized the company and silenced many doubters. The achievement has inspired a new sense of confidence and unity within Blue Origin's workforce. There's now a real American competitor in heavy lift launches, driving innovation and lowering costs for the entire industry. The presence of multiple strong players is reshaping the future of space access. 
Blue Origin has finally reached the starting line of the orbital space race, ready to prove itself on the world stage and push the boundaries of what's possible. The climb ahead is steep, filled with technical, financial, and competitive obstacles, but the company has already proven it can rise to the occasion and overcome adversity. A new era of space competition has begun, and Blue Origin is now poised to help shape the future of humanity's journey beyond Earth.